I am making a physics-based biking game in Unity. I actually started this project at the beginning of the year in Unreal, and I made a prototype that looks like this. I downloaded a lot of asset packs, and I was able to get something that I was actually pretty happy with, but I came into a lot of problems with the camera and the physics. I just couldn't understand why I, I wasn't able to code the camera the way I wanted to. So after a lot of fiddling around and trying to figure out what was what I was doing wrong, so I came to the conclusion that I'm probably better off making this game in Unity. Um, you know, I was pretty sad. You know, I didn't want to switch, but I've used Unity a lot and I've made a lot of games. You can check out my itch page. I'll put a link in down below in the description. So I was able to get a prototype much more quickly in Unity. So I started making a prototype of a simple bike with a box and cylinders for the wheels. This is me testing out the turning and speed of the object. It took me so long to figure out why the wheels were jittering so much. I thought it had something to do with the colliders that were messing up with the terrain mesh, or the colliders were interacting with the body of the bike. But it turns out, if we just go to the rigid body settings and change the physics to interpolate, that fixes the problem. This helped me out so much, so thank you John Stechgall for this video, helped me a ton. Uh, I put the video link in the description. I wouldn't be surprised that this will solve all my problems with the bike. I will need to do quite a bit of research and coding on how to make the bike more dynamic. I will need to change the numbers over time, but this will be an ongoing process. Making sure the bike feels really good to move and play with is the number one priority of the game for me. I do eventually want to have a character on it that will actually pedal the pedals. <laughs> and since this is a physics based game, having the character be affecting the pedals, which then affects the chain and affects the wheels, would be a really awesome system to have in place. Also having the handlebars move with the front wheel of the bike as well. Or maybe we don't even need a character for the bike, and just the player be just the bike. I think that could work as well, and there's something comedic about that. Either way, having the bike fully rigged is a priority of mine, and that's something that I will focus on in the future. Co-op is definitely an inspiration for this game. I really love the idea of having the game being a little bit obtuse at the start. You know, I think co-op is actually a very difficult game. I, I, I can't even run in this game. It's impossible for me. I don't understand how people do it. But I really like the idea of, of the game being obtuse, but as you play more, you kind of you kind of get it. You feel like you're getting better. Fly Wrench is such a good game. It is a physics-based game where you really have to think about your speed and momentum. And there are moments when you're you're playing through it and you're going so fast and it feels so good and then there are moments where you have to slow down and really take your time so i really like that balance within the gameplay of fly wrench so here uh, i wanted to get a little bit of life in the game so i wanted to animate some water using a shader um, and i think it adds a lot to the current state of the game just to have something moving i want to have this kind of effect to the wind of the trees and grass eventually later on. And also, I grabbed some of the assets from the Unreal Engine project that I had before and used them as the terrain for the game here. So this is the current state of the game right now. You can use WASD to move and spacebar to break. I have a shader here, so when you go in front of trees like this, you can still tell where you are which is nice and I'm going pretty slow here because uh, it is kind of awkward to control let's see if we can get over this bridge nope and yeah sweet all right thanks for watching